Greg Barron. We were a poor family. We could only afford one R. And uh, AKA Greg Blanton. I played Blanton Winship, the first American governor to put in charge of Puerto Rico during the takeover. Well, let's see, at one point, because FDR did not know, knowing I was a war hero, but he didn't know I was a uh, shady kind of character when it came to ladies and alcohol. And uh, so I'm dancing and salsaing at one point, a beautiful, on the balcony at the governor's mansion, which was actually the surrogate court in Chamber Street, a lady in my arm and a drink in my hand. Whew, I learned a lot. I really learned a lot because oddly enough, I was born a year after the Ponce Massacre. And we saw the influx after the takeover of the island. We saw the influx where there were no such thing as, this is Blanton speak, Hispanicals. There were Puerto Ricans only. Because that's all we knew. That was through the 40s and going into the 50s. That's all we knew. Then as things changed with the embargo of Cuba, bing a different influx and a different thought in, and now it's the Mexican thing. So I've learned a lot about culture and the world events that are creating these movements that we're seeing and many times not equating with what is going on. Domingo was magnificent. I didn't even know he was director in the beginning. He was, he's very quiet spoken and easy to go, easy going guy. And all you have to do is look at that trailer and in three and a half minutes, that microcosm, that nanosecond of Domingo's work just starts with such placid and, and liquid scenes of Puerto Rico. And then about halfway through, you start to notice a change and by the end, it's teeth clenching. Incredible. The change in mood and the change in uh, what Domingo has done. I'm Greg Barron, as I say, AKA Greg Blanton Winship. And I learned a lot about another culture. I learned a bunch about something that happened, a major event in this world that I knew nothing about. I think people should see it, A, because it is a tremendously powerful and engrossing film. I was very, I'm very impressed and very amazed at it. And just, you know, the production alone has been top of the line in every respect we've done. Right down to my dungeon in the South Bronx.